you know, it definitely has happened and occurred and, and more times than it hasn't. And it's usually when the customer requests that same driver back or takes them out for a cup of coffee or lunch for doing such a good job. And then that aha moment rises. And customers, our clients we've seen really appreciate that little extra added service. <laughs> We always make fun, my wife and I, of uh, Chick-fil-A. We go to Chick-fil-A here and uh, you get ultimate service. How do you get that buy-in from those people who are making the same amount per hour as McDonald's and Burger King, but yet it's their pleasure to serve you? Mm -hmm. How do you get that attitude? So we're constantly striving for the Chick-fil-A uh, service that we, we get when we go through fast food restaurants. Oh my gosh, I love that. And it's, it, but it's really true. And it's funny you bring up fast food because that's so, I can tell you anytime I walk into a fast food restaurant, you know, a chain, a chain, a big chain, um, I can tell right away if the staff is treated well and they're empowered or if they're treated like garbage and it's just, you know, a job to them. Um, I, I couldn't, I couldn't tell you about the pay. I couldn't tell you about the benefits. I just can tell you that management treats them well and respects them versus when management doesn't treat them well and disrespects them. Exactly. And if you look at the price of a chicken sandwich at Chick-fil-A it might be 20 cents more than the McDonald's or whoever, Brand X, but you're going to go back to Chick-fil-A time and time because, again, it's their pleasure to serve you. <laughs> it's amazing. Every time we go through, everyone, every single person there has that buy-in, that culture. Uh, and it's creating that culture that is the most difficult thing to do. We believe that we're getting there, but it's not there yet. Mm -hmm.